What's up, everybody? Glad you're here. Uh, got another. I got. I found some music you have not heard of. Uh, I was out looking around, trying to find something different. I'm like, where have I not been? Uh, I've been to a lot of different places lately. Found a lot of great music. Um, one place I have not been though is the Philippines. So I just kind of did like a random search for heavy metal in the Philippines, see what was there. Because I, I, I honestly don't. I don't think I can name a single band at all that has come out of the Philippines. Um, heavy metal, pop, anything, crooners. So went looking and stumbled across a Wikipedia article that listed several. Um, actually, it listed six. <laughs> they ran uh, a, band, a band called Greyhounds, uh, Locomotive, Razorback, Slapshock, Voice of Tranquility, and Wolfgang. Um, so pretty interesting. I was like, well, let me pick one. So I picked Slapshot and it turned out to be like the biggest band, biggest metal band to come out of the Philippines. I had not heard them before. And so I was digging into them a little bit and realized that the song, I, I actually had a song. They had a song called Agent Orange that I was going to do. And I went to try and, and I went looking for translations and actually the whole thing is in English. And, um, then I kind of realized that, that the song was, um, or at least the video I was looking at, uh, probably wasn't a good one to review. Uh, the band Slapshock was formed back in 1997. Um, some students from the university there at Dillman, U UP Dillman. Formed this band, uh, the lead singer lasted about a year, and then they brought in the, the drummer's cousin and uh, Yamir Garcia. And the band did really well, had a bunch of albums, seven albums, went platinum, went gold, tons of awards, just a, a really popular metal band, like the highest paid metal band to come out um, of the Philippines. Um, lasted until October of 2020 when they uh, disbanded. And then in November of the, the next month, in November of 2020, they saw, found that the uh, lead, lead singer had died, um, self-inflicted. So uh, the, the band stayed broken up, but two of the members of Slapshock created a new band called Chelsea Alley. Um, the guitarist, uh, Lee Ann Singh, and the drummer, uh, T. Evora, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, Evora, uh, pr got together with a lead singer and a bassist and created this new band called uh, Chelsea Alley. And their first single came out in December of 21 uh, called General, uh, General, which is Filipino for general, and was basically a tribute to Yamir Garcia. And I'm like, okay, I'll take a look at that one. Uh, when I pulled it up, it only has about 200,000 views, 230,000 views having debuted about seven months ago. Um, so not, not, not huge. It wasn't putting up numbers like uh, Slapshock did. Slapshock was looking at like six and a half million views on, on their, on their videos. And I'm like, so this is the band no one's heard of, uh, maybe even perhaps in the Philippines itself. Uh, and I was kind of interested in the story. I'm like, so you, you, you know, you have a band that you've you've been together for two decades. Um, you break up and then your lead singer dies, um, a cousin to the drummer. Um, so family, and you put together a new band and come out with a, with a tribute song for him as your first single. I'm like, I'm interested in hearing that. I want to hear what it says. So I did go and track down some lyrics. I don't think it, it's very difficult to find accurate English translations of some of these Filipino songs. First of all, the, the songs are not the, the band, the, the music is not like really well known. So there's like, I couldn't hardly find uh, some songs I was looking at out of the Philippines. I couldn't find translations for it all. I did find one for this one. I found one for this one and looking at it, um, I'm hoping that it's an accurate uh, translation. So we're going to check out this song and see how good it is. And uh, I'll be interpreting as we go along as I usually do. But I'd love to hear your comments on this. Um, 
tell me if you like this music. I'm, I'm interested to find out if I like this music. Um, but if it came out of a, probably the most popular metal band out of the Philippines and uh, two of their core members putting together this band, I can't see it being bad. So we're going to check it out and uh, see what it's like. So uh, let's see, without any further ado, this is Interal by Chelsea Alley. And I'll be providing links, by the way, to um, to to Chelsea Alley. I'll pro provide links to uh, Slap Shock because I did I do I was able to check out a couple of their songs, um, and kind of researching this to see what the whole story was, and I and I just I didn't want to get in in into it because I didn't want to um, risk uh, just touching on a sensitive subject. I felt like it it just it just. And I may go back later and check them out, but uh, I really felt like this song was kind of like one I wanted to look at. So I'll, I'll provide links to both those channels. You guys can go and do do a deep dive on some of that music. Um, Agent Orange, the one I, the first one I listened to was really fascinating. A really really good song. Uh, a real cool, uh, blend of um, they were apparently influenced by uh, East Coast rap as well as heavy metal. So it's a really cool fusion that they have going on there. But without any further ado, this is General by Chelsea Alley. Let me stop it right there. Wow. Um, so knowing the subject matter going in here and what this song is a tribute to, like you can right off the bat, like those first set of lyrics, you can really feel like the emotions that they're trying to get across here. And going through this, like that, there's a real interesting like shifting in gears throughout this song. The lyrics, um, don't suffer anymore. You don't have to worry. The mind is flying, unable to understand everything. Uh, no hope. I thought there was no more. I can't help but feel sad when I remember. Uh, the chisel that was fastened, I don't like. Goodbye. You'll never be alone in suffering. Goodbye. I'll take it. It hurts to lose you. Goodbye. So like I said, those, those, those I, I don't know how accurate those um the translation is but you can feel like they're saying you know telling him not he's not suffering anymore because he's gone the uh you don't have to worry the mind is flying unable to understand everything like like trying to comprehend you know and come to terms with the, the passing of your you know the drummer's cousin your friend your your bandmate um no hope. I thought there was no more. I can't help but feel sad when I remember the chisel that was fastened. Not sure what that means. And um, I didn't like. But goodbye. You will never be alone in suffering. Goodbye. I'll take care of it. It hurts to lose you. Goodbye. So you know, it's just this is like a real saying goodbye to someone that was close to you. And you can hear in those lyrics when they shift gears between those between those phrases there. 
going going from the screaming and then down to the almost like that plaintive thought uh, that plaintive um melody there and the music that's just kicking back in it's really i, I really like it I, I really like it really good song really good breakdowns too really good uh the drummer's really good that guy is a uh, avor or avora che avora really like his drumming Uh, they went here. I'm sorry. They went. Uh, I, I got caught up in that. Uh, so we started back in. <clears throat> Dreaming it has been lost in vain. All of dreams just gone. Uh, I can't help but shed tears when you remember the illnesses suffered you didn't like. Goodbye. You will never be alone in suffering. Goodbye. I'll take care of it. It hurts to lose you. Goodbye. Don't suffer anymore. Don't suffer anymore. And they're going to go into, I guess, this repeating because it just repeats kind of on the way out here. But, uh, man, I really like it. I like this song. Like, I know, I know sometimes this, this type of music is kind of taken for granted. And a lot of people don't understand this music. They're like, it's too loud. I can't understand what they're saying. I can't understand what they're saying because I don't speak the language. And I'm not even sure I interpreted it like the right phrases into like the right areas there or not but you can still feel like the pain and the emotion in this and like the sincerity of the loss and just trying to get those words out and sometimes you just got to scream them you know sometimes you got to sing them sometimes you got to whisper them you know but as a song it's just a, a solid song nice breakdowns nice nice interludes putting in the uh you know the tech riff there and uh the guy's vocals are really really on point too able to transition that way and he's not he's like not um i don't think there's any sacrifice whether he's up in the scream or whether he's down in the melody like you don't hear him sacrificing any of the talent on either end of that it's really good really cool I love that nice transition Thank you. 
Nice, I liked it. What'd you think? Um, I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to dig into them. So apparently, they're a new band, and uh, it looks like it looks like um, you know they're really starting from scratch here. You don't see, I'm not seeing a lot of uh, like going from from a band that two years ago had six million to like a brand new album that only has like 250 thousand views. They didn't carry a lot of that fan base only over, so they're really like starting from scratch, and it's kind of cool to see. It's gonna be interesting to see like what kind of music that comes out of here and. Uh, Hopefully that's, these guys can break big and really uh, make an impact. But um, check them out. I'll have details in, in you know down in the, in the comments or down in the description. I'll have details about their channel and stuff. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know what you thought about this song. And uh, if you got anything else you'd like me to try out, I'd love to hear it. Anywhere in the world, I'm willing to go there to listen to music I've never heard before. So I hope you enjoyed this music you never heard before. And uh, come back again. We'll do it all over again. All right. Love you guys. You have a good one.